I know a lot of blended approaches to teaching leverage technology in really cool ways, but I would argue that my own use of technology, which is to pre-record my lessons and deploy them as instructional videos that my students watch in class, it isn't all that different from traditional teaching in the sense that students more or less follow a similar procedure. They watch and listen to direct instruction before they attempt an activity, which is more or less how they'd proceed if I delivered a live lecture. What I think is foundationally different about my approach, and the real reason I used blended learning in the first place, blended instruction, is that each individual lesson is no longer associated with a particular day, because the videos exist in perpetuity. This means that students can work on each lesson for any amount of time before moving on. Delivering a live lecture really requires students to be present and to be incredibly focused on the exact day that the lesson is taught. This might happen in an ideal world, but it isn't the reality in most classrooms. So by decoupling the content from a specific day, instructional videos offer a more realistic path to success for many students. On any given day in my classroom, different students may be working on different lessons, but the videos are presented to the students on Google Classroom in the order they should be completed, and I use a tracker to keep tabs on who is doing what. The kids work through the lessons at their own pace, checking in with me if they need help or when it's time for me to check their work before they move on. I don't think any teacher would disagree that students learn at different paces and that some need more time and more support to truly learn the lessons we're trying to teach them. And I don't feel like it's okay to teach a lesson on Monday and then come back on Tuesday and teach a new lesson, assuming the student learned the lesson I taught the day before. Even if they were fully present on Monday and trying in earnest to learn, they'll feel lost after a while if the curriculum marches on without them and they're likely to disengage. They're unlikely to master the content. By the same token, a student who picks up the lesson very quickly and completes their work in just a few minutes will have nothing to do for the rest of class on Monday except to wait until Tuesday. If the next lesson is there and available to them, they can go ahead and get started and work ahead. I also think that our students often feel like they aren't good at certain subjects for the sole reason that they aren't given enough time to truly master the material they're presented with. They might not see it this way, but students say things like, oh, I'm just bad at math, or I'm just not good at music, because they've been conditioned to assume that they should be able to learn each lesson in the time that the teacher presents it, on the day it's presented. And, you know, a lot of teachers talk about differentiation, but I think the fact of the matter is that no matter how much we scaffold and modify our content, our students won't learn it if we don't give them the time they need to properly understand and practice it. So instructional videos solve this problem by making the lesson, and I mean the direct instruction as well as the lesson activity, available for as long as the students need it.